Special thanks to Big Bad Toy Store for making today's review possible. There's a wide selection of action figures, statues, and much more here at BigBadToyStore.com. Just click on the link in this video's description. Hello my friends, Pixel Dan here for another installment of From Pixels to Plastic. Alright, you guys know me well at this point I assume. You all know that I'm a huge geek when it comes to really cool Nintendo characters as action figures. Last year we took a look at the awesome SH Figuarts Super Mario, which easily became one of my favorite toys of 2014. Such a great design awesome likeness to the video game character and amazing accessories to boot really made that a standout action figure. Well, we couldn't have Mario without his brother Luigi. So following hot on the heels comes SH Figuarts Luigi. Let's take a closer look. So let's go ahead and start things off by taking a look at the Luigi figure. As you can see, he comes in that same style window box packaging that we saw with that SH Figure Arts Mario that we've already taken a look at in the past. That box there fully showcases Luigi as well as all of his accessories. And it's got a really great deco all the way around the box showing the Luigi action figure as well as several of the cool little accessory pieces that have been released alongside both Luigi and Mario, making for a really cool kind of level design on the box. And when you flip that box around to the backside, we get a look at some of the cool accessories included, some of the different poses that you can pull off, and even a shot of Luigi and Mario jumping in unison. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box and take a closer look at the Luigi action figure. So this particular figure stands right under the 5 inch mark, which makes him nearly a head taller than Mario, just as it should be. Luigi is also a bit thinner than Mario, but he does still have that kind of rounder, cartoony style body, which looks very nice in the sculpt on this guy. The sculpt on the head is also fantastic, doing a wonderful job of pulling the look of the character right out of the current video games and artwork and bringing him into plastic form. Even though these characters are more cartoony than highly detailed, the sculpt does a fantastic job of recreating all of those very cool details right out of the video games. Luigi's got that large nose with the nice curly black mustache underneath it, while the sideburns and the hair sticking out of the back of his cap are a lighter brown in color. He's got those bright blue eyes there with the little eyebrows kind of floating up above there. And what's great is all of those little details are nice and sculpted, so they're not just painted on. The mustache, the hair, the eyebrows, and even the eyes that are inside of the eyeballs there are all sculpted details. So everything looks very nice on the head here. That even brings you to that famous Luigi green cap that's sitting on his head, where even the L that is on the front is more than just a paint, as it's also got a nice little sculpted design etched in. I really love that all of those little details are sculpted rather than just being paint details because the extra sculpting helps to bring the entire figure to life. He's also wearing those blue overalls which got the nice little yellow buttons that are holding the straps on and his green shirt underneath, the brown shoes which even have separate sculpted and painted soles on the bottom of the shoes, and those famous white gloves. The paint job is nice and clean and very vibrant on this guy really rounding him out to give us the best representation of Luigi we have ever seen in action figure form. So let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on this guy, because one thing that the SH Figure Arts figures are known for is good poseability with their figures. Luigi's head turns at the base of his neck there, and it's on a nice little ball joint, so you can roll the head all the way around, move it side to side, forwards and backwards. And it actually rotates a little bit better than Mario's because the bottom of his chin isn't quite as fat as Mario's was. 
He does have ball joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go upwards, they can move forwards and backwards there. You've got nice little double joints at the elbows, which allow for a good range of motion with the arms. And then the wrist can swivel there, as well as kind of roll around, as the hands are on a bit of a little ball joint there. You can see the great little ball joints that are at the tops of the thighs there, which blend in really nicely with the bottom of the overall, so the legs can come all the way forwards and move around pretty nicely. It also swivels there at the top of the thigh. You do have nice joints at the knees, which are hidden in the pants, look very good, so you can get a standard knee bend. And then the feet are on nice little joints there that allow them to rotate all the way around as well as move forwards and backwards. So while these guys aren't quite as articulated as some of the other figures we see from the SH Figu Arts line, it's worth pointing Pointing out that Luigi, just like Mario before him, is a bit more of that cartoony kind of stocky and a little chubby build of a character, so you can't really get a lot of super articulation out of him. And the articulation that they did build into this guy functions very well and blends in nice enough that it doesn't ruin the sculpt of the figure. So Luigi does come with a few accessories that are packed in with him that are going to help you with posing him on your shelf. Just like we saw with Mario before him, he comes with a green rectangular base, as well as a nice articulated clear arm that's going to help you for some cool poses. So the way that this functions is that he includes this extra little piece that will plug onto the back of his overalls. You just need to remove the part that's already there and you're going to plug this new part on in its place, which is going to give you this little peg hole on his back. You can then take that articulated arm and you can plug it into the hole on his back, which is a nice firm hold, and then the bottom of that plugs into that green base. This articulated arm is going to work in a number of different ways. It's going to allow you to get a nice sturdy pose with him just standing or running along the ground, but what's really great about it is you can articulate it so that it looks like Luigi is jumping in mid-air. So you can create some very cool poses with Luigi using this base that look like he's coming right out of the game, jumping straight through your TV screen. It's really fun to do. In addition to that base, he also comes with that famous brick that we always see in the Mario games. It's just a nice kind of solid plastic there and it's painted very nicely to mimic the way the bricks look in the game. It does have a little hole on the bottom of it that can plug onto some of the clear stands like we saw with Mario, but this Luigi does not come with that particular clear stand. In addition to that, he also comes with a red turtle shell, which is pretty cool because Mario came with a green one, so Luigi's got a red one for us. Another familiar item we see in many Mario games. And in order to get Luigi to hold onto this shell, we have a pair of interchangeable hands. So you can easily pop off Luigi's closed fists for these open palm hands just by pulling the hands off of the pegs. The new ones snap on nice and firm, so you don't have to worry about them being too loose and falling off. And then we have these tiny little clear pegs. There are two forms of them. There's the straight pegs and these curved pegs. And really those are just so that you can plug it into however you want them to hold onto the turtle shell. The straight pegs are for if you want them to hold the turtle shell kind of horizontally. And the curved pegs are for if you want the turtle shell kind of more facing outwards there. All that you got to do is plug those onto his hands and then plug them into the little uh, peg holes on the turtle shell. And now you've got Luigi carrying around this red shell, ready to use it against his foes. So released right alongside Luigi is another accessory kit. You might remember when we looked at Mario, there were two accessory kits released. So now we have a third one. And this one is equally as cool as what we've seen in the past. This particular set gives us a red version of the pipes. We saw a green one released alongside Mario. But what's great about this one is it also comes with an open mouth piranha plant that we can put inside the red pipe. We also have another gold coin, which is very cool in these figures, made of a nice kind of metallic finish there. And we get another classic enemy, Buzzy Beetle. So Buzzy Beetle is a fantastic little accessory. He's a solid sculpt, so there's no articulation on him, but he's got a fantastic paint job, where even his belly's got the lines on it, he's got the little pads on the bottom of his feet, red eyes glowing out from underneath that awesome dark blue shell. It's another classic villain that we've seen all the way from the first Mario games, and it's really cool to get a neat little action figure representation of him that we can pose right alongside the Goombas and the turtle shells that we already have. 
that red pipe functions just like the green pipe we saw before it. So there are two different ways you can pose it. The way it comes out of the box has got a black base that's kind of right on the inside of the pipe. So that way you can have Luigi standing on top of the pipe, just like you do in the video games. Now you can easily remove that top section and put on the other section instead, which lowers that black base down inside a little bit, which is gonna be perfect for adding in the piranha plant to make it look like he is coming out of that pipe. Now the piranha plant is really great on its own. It's another fantastic sculpt. No articulation here, but it's an amazing representation of the way the character looks in the game with even the tongue and the teeth sculpted on the inside. Pretty cool to see this brought into 3D form. It's got a little black base on the bottom of it and it fits perfectly right inside that red tube to make it look like he's coming out of the pipe. These accessories will help to add even more displayability to your Luigi, but not just him alone, also to your Mario. And getting Luigi alongside Mario is really fantastic. It feels like a complete duo now because you kinda can't have one without the other, at least not in my opinion. And these two figures look fantastic together. We can get some awesome poses with them side by side or using their jumping bases. And if you have all of those accessory kits, you can practically create your own little levels here for Mario and Luigi to do some running through. These are so much fun. And I absolutely love all of the cool accessories that we're getting alongside these figures because it really makes them feel like something special. Oh, and one more thing, something that I always love to do with these figures, this Luigi is yet another figure we can add to our Super Smash Brothers display. If you've been buying any of these cool Nintendo figures from either the SH Figuarts line, the D-Arts line, or the Figma line, or even the World of Nintendo line, we're actually getting as close as we ever have to being able to display a Smash Brothers battle because all these figures are so close in scale with one another. Settle it in Smash! So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the SH Figure Arts Luigi figure. Just like Mario before him, I am incredibly impressed with this guy. It's absolutely the best version of this character we've ever seen in action figure form, in my opinion. There have been many different Luigi figures over the years, but none of them have really captured the look of the character as perfectly as this, but also given us some really nice articulation, a great detailed sculpt and paint job, and some amazing accessories so that we can recreate an entire scene on our collection shelves. That alone is worth the cost of these guys. But what's great is these are actually pretty affordable uh, for being imports like this. A lot of times these imports from Japan are a lot pricier, but you can pick up Luigi for $29.99 US retail. And then you can pick up that accessory kit for about the same price. So it's kind of nice that they're sold separately. So that way, if you don't want the accessories, you can still get Luigi for $30 there. He's available at online stores right now, such as BigBadToyStore.com, but also do some hunting, because I'm sure you'll find him elsewhere as well if you can't score him there. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.